Chainsaw artists from up north getting a taste of southern hospitality after getting hit by thieves. WVTM 13's Larissa Scott on what the crooks took and how neighbors are helping out. Joshua Gates. Chainsaw. Power tools. Three words to describe the New York native. It's all about hunting the different trees for me. To create art out of them with, you guessed it, a chainsaw. Everything is organic. I get to go all across the country meeting folks. Which is how he ended up in Harpersville, Alabama. Just all around a good time, a good atmosphere. But a good atmosphere turned bad. I posted about a theft that happened here. Someone stole his artwork and a $1,200 chainsaw. But Harpersville residents stepped in to lend a hand with donations. So much positivity came our way from that. I thought, man, I've never seen anything like it before. Out of something bad came something good, a community rallying around him to help. I was feeling like it was a good idea and a good time to maybe gear up towards going somewhere else for work. But the folks changed my mind real fast. Convincing Joshua Gates he should stay a while in Harpersville. Larissa Scott, WVTM 13.